sorry about that. My kids went crazy. I don't know how I'm, I might have to just do a couple together. I don't know how that works, but I think we were here. Here's the pocket with a couple little tickets in it. I made this a long time ago, so everything's kind of here and there from being moved around. There's a little ribbon. Here's some more of those stickers and old National Wildlife uh, stamps. More scrapbook paper. Some corner stamps. Um, here's like a little hidden writing spot down there. Another little ticket. Some washi tape. Little book page with a little dangly tag. There's some tile paper that my husband gets me. Here's Paris. Here's a little book page pocket with a couple tags. This has been embossed and distressed. And then there's just some paper to write on. Some really pretty trim I got at an antique store. I love this trim. And I left it hang a little bit. It's music note paper with some more of that fabric. Um, this is out of an old Reader's Digest. Here's a little flat page with the die cut. And then it opens up like that. Closes. And then this, I don't know, it's not pocket, it's just decoration. Um, some more music note paper. Some some big map washi tape. Um, here's just a little collage. Pussy cut this out of the page with some cheesecloth, some Tim Holtz um, stickers, and some little ephemera pieces. Here's the back of that France page, tile paper, little ticket, coffee dog paper, this glass scene bag with a little banner behind it. And then a little tag, some embroidery thread, some more trim, a little die cut, and some more of those scrapbook pages. I think that's shaking. Sorry, I'm not holding it very still, I guess. Sorry, Let's see what I need to do. Never done this before, so I apologize. And there's a little tag. I like these little paper clips. And then again, cheesecloth, little die cut, some pieces of paper. And the back's been coffee dyed to write on. Um, here's a little booklet I made. And stamped on. Some receipt paper. Some ledger paper with some washi tape on it. There's a little envelope with a tag. Here's that other piece of that Reader's Digest. That page, die cut, title paper, die cut, um, collage I guess you could say, lined paper, globe on it, some doodle paper, washi tape, lined paper with a little ephemera, some more ribbon, or lace trim I mean, a little die cut with a little dimensional stamp on it, tile paper, here's some tracing paper, it opens up and it's got some trim and then a little uh, Embellished paper clip with book page and some trim and a flower and a flat back pearl. Map page, another one of those little hanging tickets, some more trim, a little pocket, and it says destination with a little hook or anchor. <laughs> Graph paper, the other side of that uh, receipt paper. A little tag with some twine, some lace up above, and this lace I got from an antique store, and you can just feel it is like super old and delicate. Some more scrapbook paper, 
Um, a little ticket. I tried to make like a little washi tape. A little piece up here. It didn't really go like planned. Envelope with a Tim Holtz clip. Um, a little ephemera or journaling card behind it. You can pull out. And then, like I said, you can take it off. And there's some paper to write on. Then another little tag. Die cut. Another little die cut. Little pocket with a vintage piece of paper in it and a little piece of ephemera. Another vintage dictionary page. And then this flips out again. And then here's a little fabric tippin that I tried to do. It's really pretty scrapbook paper. Some coffee dye wax paper pocket with a bow and then this this is a pocket and you this opens up long ways and then this is behind it and it opens up long ways so you can journal in both of those little belly band again you can pull this out and it opens up long ways and you can journal on it a little envelope with some more coffee dyed paper in it um here's some stamping i did with some rose gold and some um bubble wrap I tried and it adds on the back of this card as well wax paper scrapbook paper a little collage page it's just trying to cover up that bright red a little bit another vintage piece of paper folded up in there um, little banner I made with a stamp and some of those cool little ribbon stuff there's a piece of scrapbook paper with a little collage it's got a little tag and some lace and a flower and a button <laughs> excuse me and then here this is on a bread so it moves and you can write on the back of it Here's another pocket with a little tag you can write on the back of. Some more scrapbook paper and lace. Is that old lace again? A little belly band with journaling card, postcard, and then a piece of paper with washi tape to write on. X paper. Here's a map page that I cut down and I hole punched the ends on and then I put this on a brad so it spins and then you can unclip it and have the whole back side right on sorry I can't seem to get it to another little journaling card another little pocket with a key and some more journaling cards or ephemera and I backed all these on index paper so you can have an easier time writing on them. And then just a little piece of paper and a stamp. Tissue paper. And this is another one of those 3D, 3D little pieces. Another piece from a Reader's Digest. Another um, decorated paper clip. Some of that matte page, lace, flower, and a flat back pearl. This is from a super old um, music book, and I put it because it said April in Paris, and this is about travel and all that. And you can unfold it and open it. I kind of lift it in its entirety because it's very old and unique. It's lined paper, graph paper, um, some cheesecloth with a little paper flower and a pearl. I forgot this was on the back when I cut the edges, so that's an oops. And here's a little rose gold stamp, some more trim up above, and the fabric. This bag right here is actually from Beef Jerky, but I took it apart and washed it and coffee dyed it and sewed it in with some tags that you can take out and write on. And there's a pocket over here. And this is one of those really thick 
hard ones. It's hard to go through this and videotape at the same time. I'll fix it later. <sighs> Some more paper. Some more fabric. Some more graph paper. What? I'm going to try to do this sitting down. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Let's try to stay away from my craft mess up there. Lined paper with stamp. A little collage. This is another one of those 3D ones. Um, another little collage. 3D flower button die cut. Tissue paper. Which was not easy to coffee dye. Another little envelope pocket with some journaling cards, ephemera, a little ticket. A little piece of paper with a stamp on it. Um, some wax paper. Really pretty die cut and another stamp and some lace. Some scrapbook paper. Another one of those paper clips. Die cut. Um, ephemera, another little piece you can take out and journal on, and of course you can write all over the page. These are more like little hidden places to write. Some vintage dictionary paper, a little stamp, some receipt paper. Hold on. Sorry about that. Tissue paper. Ledger paper, washi tape, scrapbook paper, a little pocket, some pieces in it, and you can write on the back of those. Another little pocket with some pieces in it. And you can pull these out right on too if you wanted. Some receipt paper with a little piece on it. Graph paper. Die cut, and then you put the date up here, date and time, kind of like that. Sorry about all the background noise. Um, here's just a collage with washi tapes, some lace. Um, here's a, I, when I coffee dyed this, I had some of these little pieces on it, and I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but they kind of went through on the paper. A little, little pocket over here, both of these pull out, and you can write on, and then this one pulls out of the side, so it's a pocket up in here, and then a pocket behind over here. Just more washi tape, another envelope, you just take that off. And then like this, you can write like what's in it maybe. If it's a recipe, you can do like a cheese ball recipe and then in the envelope put it or, you know, that's just an example. There's the envelope, washi tape, another Reader's Digest image. I like to make books out of the Reader's Digest book. Well, say like to. This book I made before I started doing that. But I had pulled some of the images out of it. But this I actually made months and months ago. A little journaling card with a Tim Holtz paper clip. Just thought if I was going to videotape, I should start at the beginning. A little envelope, little envelope that I made with some paper in it. And then a little brad with a little ticket and Tim Holtz paper clip. A little vintage, um book page with some washi tape and this is really really old it's from a super old dictionary you probably can't see how sheer that is but it had a compass and I thought that looked cool so I just left it in its entirety scrapbook paper graph paper tissue paper Receipt paper, and then this is like some thick board stuff, and I put one on each side. This says it's the journey, not the destination. And they're holding hands. I thought that was cute. And then some more travel themed scrapbook paper. Hold on, I 
I'm losing you again. And there's some more of that stamping that I did with bubble wrap and the rose gold ink. I'll stamp. And then here is some really wide lace. Some more lace on it. And then some flatback pearls. And there. Little pocket. Uh, I did not put anything in this pocket. But it is a full pocket. I just liked the way the page looked with that behind it. Enjoy the journey. And then this has an airplane for travel. And then it says definition airplane right there. And here's another one of those little tissue paper pages. Some lace ribbon. Another one of those paper clips. Book page or dictionary page. Lace flower. Flat back pearl. Looks like that flower kind of got messed up. How to fix it later. I can't <laughs> seem to uh, keep my camera on track when I look at things. Washi tape, book page, there's some more of that fabric, some journaling space, little ticket, lined paper, graph paper. I thought that was pretty off of some mail. piece of trim, some more ephemera, a large pocket, and this is an index card. And it says far and away. It's got the edges punched again. More book pages, some washi tape, um, a little piece of paper glued up there, another piece down here, washi tape, ticket. I thought I had covered up that barcode, but apparently the washi tape was too clear. My bad. Another piece of Paris paper with some gray lace and a little butterfly die cut. And then this actually has two pockets. A pocket here and a pocket behind, but I only made one. only filled one pocket. So there's another one behind it. Another... Another pocket page, some more ephemera, die cut, some more fabric, which is a pocket that slides out. And again, it's backed on index cards so you can write on it. Um, here's another piece of paper. Here's another one of those cork pieces. Some more scrapbook paper and lace, plane chip train. Here's a belly band, um, another decorated paper clip, banner with some lace, flower, pearl, and then it has a little booklet behind it that has lots of pages. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pretty good size booklet. And it just slides right in there. And then a couple tickets, paper clip back here, die cut with some little brads so you could slip something under there if you wanted. A hole punch with a mini tag, a little die cut, another little pocket. I fussy cut this actually came on a like a gift bag, like when you get someone a gift and you put it in there with tissue paper. This was on this front and back side, and I thought it looked pretty, so I cut that out. And here's another tag that I uh, embossed and distressed, and then it has this cool little trim up here. When I made this book, I didn't have any eyelash trim, which is what I normally use now on my tags for the most part. I didn't have eyelash trim or sorry silk. Like I said, I made this a while back. <laughs> a little flap here. Another scrapbook page. A little die cut collage. Some more wax paper. Actually, this was on an envelope that my dad sent me and I cut it off thinking that I would use these little stamps because they were so unique but then I ended up just turning it into a pocket. I paper clipped it with one of those Tim Holtz pens though so it'd stay in but this comes out and opens up and then there's also a little booklet in it. And here's a little uptuck music note paper stamp, some lace, here's a little pocket with some washi tape and some little tickets and tags that come out. 
washi tape, wax paper, and belly band. This is one of those tags um, I've seen Gail do where you uh, where you emboss it and then you decoupage it and then you distress it. So it's one of those, but the tissue paper is so busy you can kind of hardly see it. But they were still fun to make. Um, another little flap. Pocket. Again, this pocket is empty. So you can put whatever you wanted in there. A couple little tags. Um, little ticket fence. A um, little journaling card. Um, a little tag I made and stamped. Die cut with some brads again. Another one of those Reader Digest images. I liked the train. Another little die cut with some stickers. I did an F for Florida, I believe. Some more scrapbook paper. Another pocket. And then you got some more tags you can pull out. For some reason, I thought there was three there. I don't know. And then over here, this is in the corner of that. So I thought that was kind of neat. A couple little tickets in it, some twine, and again, you can write on the back of those. More ephemera collage, another little ticket. This one's not hanging though, it's just glued. Some tile paper, a little pocket that I hand sewed. And then it's got some really old paper in it, and I liked the way it coffee dyed. A little plain, so it's just folded up in there. I kind of got to the point on this book where I didn't really like it because I had messed up so much, so I just kind of started throwing stuff together to be honest. Some more scrapbook paper, a little corner pocket with another one of those tags that have been embossed and decoupaged and distressed. And then this you can journal on, it's just got on the back, and it's just got a little Brad and a little tag. And some more packing paper, washi tape, stamp. A couple little tags hanging from a brad. This is one of those also that was uh, embossed and decoupaged. I did a whole bunch of them. Here's a little journaling card. And then this, oh, sorry. This little envelope, I glued a little, little key on it, and the paper is locks. I said that that's kind of cute. A car, and it flips open. Packing paper with washi tape, a little collage, die cut, map paper, the other side of that pocket, and it's got another compass image in there. Um, washi tape and then over here it's got a little cheese cloth and one of those 3d clocks some little bits and bobs another little journaling card and Tim Holtz paper clip and a little tag this is one of those thick ones too of his pocket and I had this to where this kind of went there like that so you had to turn this and then you could pull out the paper and you could pull out the the tag and then it kind of closed back on there and then the back this was actually out of a purse and I cut it out to put all the little pieces in and then it's just got some of that uh, burlap behind it I thought this paper was really pretty so I didn't want to cover it up too much and that's what's also in the front and then it just closes with the seam binding ribbon so there's the first one that I ever made.